We've learned that a person's zip code actually determines more about a person's health and health status than how many times they visit a doctor. of work that we do in the Division of Behavioral Research is to look at ways to promote healthy behaviors such as physical activity, eating healthful diets, getting sufficient sleep, and also through reducing those at-risk behaviors. For example, people who live in um, environments in which there may be crime or unsafe neighborhoods can make it harder for people to be physically active. If people live in neighborhoods in which they don't have access to healthy foods, but they have fast food restaurants around the corner, it's easier for them to engage in eating fast food all the time rather than making more healthy choices. These are all problems that we address in our division. We're learning more about adverse childhood experiences and how that can affect a person's both physical and mental health as they grow older. If we understand if a child has been maltreated, that they're at risk for these other at-risk behaviors, we can help provide services that they would not normally obtain. It's great to be able to make a difference in, in their lives through the research that we do.